Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Phase Difference in Physics. So here I have a plot of two oscillatory functions that oscillate in time. And you could probably recognize this one as sine, where it starts at zero, increases, and then decreases, and completes one revolution. And if time is measured in radians, this would be 2 pi. And this point right here, of course, the first intersection, would be half of that, so just pi. And let's say I have a different signal that is offset. So if we compare the peaks, we see that there is a phase difference. They're not in phase, they're out of phase. So how can we describe this mathematically? Well, y1, which is my sine function, would simply be a times sine omega t. Here a is the amplitude, omega is the angular frequency, but here I'm assuming omega to simply be equal to 1, so I have sine in terms of just time. Now my second function, I can write, assuming that it's the same amplitude, as a sine omega t plus a phase difference plus because the phase difference of this second signal is offset to the left of the original signal. If it was offset to the right then I would be writing minus phi. Now we can see that phi has to be given in terms of the angular frequency omega and this change in time, this difference in time between the two peaks. So our phase difference will be equal to omega delta t. But if we know omega in this particular case is equal to 1 because I'm using units of radians for time, then my phase difference will simply be equal to the change in time. So what is this difference? Well, it's equal to this difference the difference between when the rising slopes intersect with the t-axis. So if this is 2 pi and this is pi, right in the middle is 3 pi over 2. So delta t is equal to 2 pi or 4 pi over 2 minus 3 pi over 2, which is equal to simply pi over 2. That would be my phase difference. Now I can understand in the unit circle why cosine, which is the horizontal component, is separated in angle by 90 degrees, or pi over 2, from sine, which is the vertical component. It's all due to this phase difference between a sine function and, in this case, what turned out to be a cosine function. So cosine is simply sine but with an added phase difference that is equal to pi over 2. And this is very useful in understanding how separated two signals are in time or in space if you plot the signals with respect to space. My name is Walter Unglob and this is Phase Difference in Physics.